All right, here are the four problems that you are going to be taking care of today for practice. If you think that you are in good enough shape to practice these on your own, go ahead and do it. Um, copy them down, pause the video, and then come back and check and see how you did. If you're still a little shaky on it, that's okay. You can follow along with my explanations for them here. Okay, so if you're going to pause the video, do it now. If not, just hold on and we'll go over each one. All right, let's start in the top corner up here. Uh, if you would like to on this one, you can put a one in front of every one of these R's. If you don't need to and you understand that they're one R, perfect. All right, we have the same variable all the way through, so I will just circle all of them just to make sure I know the positives and the negatives. Uh, you keep the symbol in front of it on all of them. So what I would do is I see this minus 1 R and this plus 1 R. I know that those together are going to equal 0. So maybe I just forget about those because that would definitely equal 0. So I could just cross those off. Now all I have left is 1, 2, 3, 4, add them together. My answer should be 4R for this one. If you went straight down the line, it would have been 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Takeaway 1 would be back to 3, and then plus that 1 would be back up to 4R, which would be fine. Over here, now uh, we've got X's and Y here. So for all the X's, I'll put a box around it. Include the symbol in front of it. And then I'll just leave that one blank because that's kind of the oddball out. And actually, I'll just write that down here because I know that'll be my ending. So now I've got 5x um, plus 10x plus 15x. Those are all positives, so I should just be able to add them. 5 and 10 would be 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. So that should just be 30x. Now, you can write this in a lot of different ways, and it's the same thing. Remember, as long as you can box it off and you get the same numbers. So I could do like 30x plus negative 20y. Uh, I could flip around and do negative 20y plus 30x. Those would all work because if you think about it, in all of them, I've got a positive 30x. Okay? In all of them, I've got a minus 20y. So those will all work no matter how you write it. Right here. We've got x's and y's. So I'll put a box around the y's here since that starts first. Include the symbol in front of it. And then everything else is next. Negative 3y, negative 4y. If you add those together, that's negative 7y. 8x, negative 7x would be a positive 1. So I could write it like that. Um, if you want to write it the other way, I could do 1x minus 7y. That would be fine. Uh, I could do 1x plus negative 7y. That would be fine. Just understand that we've got negative 7y, negative 7y, negative 7y in all of them. And for the x's, Positive 1x, positive 1x, positive 1x. Now, here's the last one. I'm looking at this right now, and I really cannot do anything with this problem because I've got 16x, I've got negative 14y, and I've got a positive or a negative 12z, excuse me. Okay, so if I, even if I box these off, I've got a rectangle around that one. I can have a circle around that one because that's a Y. I could go a triangle around the Z here. I can't put anything together because they're all different letters at the end. So this is actually your final answer for this one. You cannot do anything with this one.